So, uh oh, here we go. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You got somebody coming in wanting to romance you or charm you or offer some, express some type of love to you, take you on a date. Oof, what is this? The Knight of Swords? You guys could have people competing for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy? Mm. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, the Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody definitely wants to make amends or somebody got caught doing something or they're in regret. Tell me more. Death in reverse. I don't know about this, though. Resistance. Yeah, somebody's either resisting change or they don't want something to be over or they're still stuck. They haven't changed. All right, clarify the Knight of Cups. Okay, so you guys have some type of either they're viewing you as their wish fulfillment or you have wish fulfillment coming in and the and in the form of like somebody's approaching you for like a date or an expression of emotions or something like that. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. See, oh, somebody, or this is somebody just rushing towards you. This could be the same person. For some of you, you may have more than one person coming towards you, a water sign and an air sign, but we're going to see. So whoever this Knight of Swords energy is, they're, they're seeing something clearly. Yeah, they're getting more in alignment. They know what they want. They're seeing something and they're like rushing in towards you. Very focused. Seven of Swords in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. Ooh. I don't know, guys. Somebody could have did you dirty and they want to reconcile with you, but they are not going to come in and apologize to you. They want to come get back together with you, but and they're it's like they're in regret. They see everything clearly now, but that's why the death is in reverse. This person still is not wanting to take accountability for something. This person could be very charming. Tell me about the death in reverse. The hanged man. Somebody is. Uh, the fool. Mm. Tell me what this knight of cups and this knight of swords is. Is this two people or. These are whoever they are is people that you have history with. People that a person or people that you have history with. People from your past. Is this one or two people? Is this the same person? Is this the same person? Ooh, you know what this is, y'all? You got people that you cut off coming towards you <laughs> that betrayed you, they hurt you, they stabbed you in the back, right? That are now seeing that you are the empress, the divine femme, the divine masculine, that you were it. And now they're wanting to come in. This one of this, one of these people is seeing you as wish fulfillment and there's a like this other person is seeing something clearly and they're wanting to rush towards you. But with the seven, I see them wanting to make amends, but with the page of cups in reverse, this could be a rejected apology. You may not be accepting this person's apology. Uh, what is, why is death in reverse? Yeah, you definitely went cold on these people or cut them off or cuss them out. Talk about the death in reverse. The tower, Scorpio energy. Move out the tower. Five of wands in reverse. Somebody does not want something to be, yeah, somebody wants to come back together. There was like some type of tower or something like that. And it like led to possibly an ending, but somebody wants to, to end the conflict and they want to get back together. This could be, I feel like this could be more than one person. Yeah, somebody, the moon in reverse, somebody's seeing something clearly. Or somebody's emotions are coming. Somebody is realizing that they love you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. That they've been suppressing and resisting their emotions for you. Hmm. Yeah, could have possibly missed an opportunity with you. More, tell me more about what's going on here. Hmm. I'm not so convinced this is just one person. To be quite honest with y'all, I'm not convinced. What is going on here? No, didn't I tell you? You got people that did you dirty coming back around wanting to make amends with you. And this is like a warning for you. But with you're not accepting these people back. 
We have no longer interested. Moved on. Closed chapter. It's over. <laughs> but these people don't want it to be over with you. Tell me more. Worth waiting for? You feel like you're just being patient with something. You're, you're being patient with this coming in. You're hoping and wishing for somebody that's romantic and charm, like somebody that you're, you're waiting for that Knight of Cups to come in. You could have this Knight of Swords coming towards you that's not seeing your worth. Yeah, this is so, I don't think, for some of you it could be two people, but I feel like it's one person now that I'm getting these clarifiers. This is what you guys are hoping for, is this Knight of Cups, this Ace of, this Nine of Cups. Though your wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are hoping for a water sign. But somebody to come in and to be successful for them, for it to be happy and harmonious and for you to get where you want to be with that person and for them to give you the recognition and to know your worth and all those things. But you got this Knight of Swords energy that's rushing in back towards you. Who's, they're seeing something differently now. They had a change in perspective. That they don't want this to be over between the two of you. They're seeing that you are the empress because they know that you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine. So they're wanting to, you know, some of you may not be taking this person back because of the way that they're approaching you. I see them wanting to and regret and wanting to like maybe confess some things to you. They're wanting to make amends with you. But with the page of cups in reverse, it's because this person's not coming in and being giving you a sincere apology. For others of you, you just feel like they, they're, they're, emotionally immature that they're too immature for you i don't know but i just feel like you guys are no longer interested in this knight of swords energy it could be a gemini libra or aquarius it doesn't have to be and your 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 hope your you feel like this knight of cups this nine of cups is worth waiting for all right tell me more yeah suffering in silence hiding pain putting up a front so this person's trying to act like they're not sad over you or they're coming towards you like acting nonchalant like they don't really they're not sad over you I told you, they're not coming towards you super apologetic. They have gained some clarity about some things, but they're still in their ego. They're still being resistant to change. They're going to be coming towards you, putting up a front. And you're just not, you maybe feel like you let this person back in when they came towards you in this energy before and it bit you. Isn't it funny how at the very beginning of this reading, I said, when I don't listen to my guides, it bites me in the ass. And now I'm about to say that same thing. That was like a, that was like a sign. You guys feel like, what is it? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you or whatever. It's that type of energy. Or it couldn't even have been more than twice. Could have been a hundred times, right? This person, you're you're this person is coming towards you and you're not ignoring the red flags this time. They're coming towards you in that same old, same old energy with that facade and that mask and not being very apologetic, still blaming you, not taking accountability. And you're like, no, I'm no longer interested in this. I'm moving on. I'm waiting for this Knight of Cups, somebody that comes in and they are like, they worship the ground that I walk on. No, not that's a little exaggerating. I mean, you should, you know, somebody, but you know what I mean? Like somebody that is going to express their emotions to me. Somebody is going to see my worth. Uh, uh. Somebody that is going to be humble, not egotistical. Mm -hmm. This person's been sad over you, but they're going to try to act like they haven't been. See, so you have devoted to you, faithful, trustworthy, loyal. What about, that's what I feel like you want. Yeah, somebody's missing you. Why is devoted here? Yeah, there's somebody. Yeah, beyond your control, divinely planned. So you guys do have somebody coming in here that's going to devote themselves to you that will be faithful and trustworthy and loyal. It could be this Knight of Cups energy coming in. But you do have somebody that is like thinking of you and missing you. Um, But they're involved with a third party. Interesting. So yes, yeah, it's friend, family, and other lover. So they have all these outside influences and inter interference or one. Wow. So why are they coming toward you? They're rushing in toward you. Yeah. And Spirit says you can't trust this person. Hidden agenda, lies, selfish intentions. They're still holding on to a third party possibly. Yeah. They're coming in telling you not the full truth. Yeah. Yep. And it's like you see this person for who they are now with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. White lies don't want to hurt you. Maybe that, yeah, their self sap fears, pessimism, runner triggers. Mm. Yeah, they could have had somebody that they were dealing with from work or something like that, or somebody that they were working, they were with, with for money. I don't know, guys, but they self sabotage. They weren't wanting to open up to you. They were, they had options. Now they're rushing toward you. What? 
see, they're still kind of trying to come towards you with something like casual. And you're like, dude, I don't want something casual. I want some, I want 11, 11 on the camera as I'm saying that. Like, I want a, like some, I want to be like courted. I want a relationship. Yeah. What about when least expected? What's happening? Change. See, this is somebody that thought that they wanted to just have something casual or like friends with benefits, situationship type crap. Now they're having this change of heart out of the blue. Now they now they're having this change of heart, and now it's like they're wanting something else. But now we're about not on the same page. Holding back. You may not, you may be holding back from this person now. Like, why is what's not on the same page mean for my collective? Yeah. You just feel like that you and this person just don't want the same things or something like that. What does this mean for this person? What does not on the same page mean for this person? Love bombing. See, yeah, this, you don't trust this person anymore. Just say that they were coming towards you in, as the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, right? You wouldn't believe it or you would have a hard time believing it because of how, who they've shown you to be in the past. So yeah, the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Feeling abandoned. Perfect match. Yeah. They feel like they don't want this breakup. They feel like you're their perfect match or you, you feel like this person abandoned you. And now what? Now they think you're marriage material. Now they feel like you, now they see you as the empress or the emperor, but they still got stuff going on. Like blocks, challenges, delays. They're checking their messages, hoping to hear from you, hoping that you'll text them. They're also reading through your old messages. Yeah, they still have like a karmic cycle that they're in or karmic debts. They have karma that they still need to read, but. We do have true love here and only wants you setting a date. Mm. This person, like, they wanted to play the field. They thought the grass was greener. They were trying to run from this connection. They broke promises to you. Mm. What, is, what about going forward? What about going forward? Ugh, I don't know. What about going forward? They're thinking about marriage with you, but they're afraid that you're going to read. They know that there's a good possibility you're going to reject them because they played too many games. What is up with this romance in the workplace? Building a home. Maybe they feel like they want to work with you on something. What, is this, what does romance in the workplace mean for my collective, for my collective? Friendly love. Upcoming trip. Some of you guys could be like, meeting what is this about some of you guys could be taking something slow with somebody that they what does this mean for my collective friendly love and upcoming trip call or text all right you're going to be receiving communication but spirit says this will be a toxic connection or it will be toxic what does friendly love and upcoming trip mean for this person no i'm telling you they're going to want to go through another round of this crap with you and i feel like you guys are going to be like i'm done with this <laughs> Yeah, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to want to go on another round of this journey with you. They're going to try to keep you at a distance possibly too. Like wanting to have something that it's just not, it's going to be unrequited. What, what is upcoming trip? They're going to want, they may even say they want to go somewhere with you or something like that. They might want to go on a trip, but I don't think, I think you're going to reject them. I don't see you guys taking this person back, or at least not easily. So they all they want to have a little rendezvous type thing. That's what I'm kind of getting from that. It's like this person keeps you at a distance too. So they like to keep, they like to be, feel like they're, they like to have the control. They like to keep you where they like to keep you. See this person. Yeah, I told you they're trying to have a rendezvous. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. The witch. 
they see how powerful and magical you are and sometimes they wonder if they have you under it if you have them under a spell <laughs> they feel like you did sex magic on them or something regret they are leaving a, they're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly much less for let, expecting you to forgive them yeah they know they did you dirty at last you guys are manifesting something i don't know if you guys are trying to manifest this person back but you guys are manifesting something or somebody's doing spell work to manifest something or you guys could be just trying to manifest new love into your life or doing spell work to manifest that but it says but it's like this person's coming back some of you guys all have been trying to manifest this person but i don't know i see you guys rejecting them maybe it's because you don't like the way they approach you they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because we'll all be worth it in the end. Mysterious one. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. Serendipity. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. The fight. See, it's like they were like hoping that you... What is making, what's lighting a fire under this person's ass? Dreams? Oh, it could be a dream that they had about you. It's funny because I was feeling drawn to my dream deck. I may have to pull a few cards from there. But yeah, they are dreaming so much about you and they want and want to manifest their dreams into reality. So they were kind of just leaving things up to chance or hoping that you make a move towards them first. But they could be having some type of dream here that's going to make them come in and want to fight for you. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Tell me about this dreams card. Ancestral karma. They are clearing neg negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. And it says justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid. Okay, so what they're maybe saying is that they do have like a vision for what they want with you. But they need to heal. They need to clear this ancestral karma. All these things they need to, I think I just saw old wounds. They need to get over their exes. They need to heal from their exes and their childhood and all those things to be able to manifest what they dream to have with you into reality or to be able to give you something more solid. So it could not have anything to do with dreams, but it could just have to do with that they dream of something with you, but they know. But what is lighting a fire under their butt though? They're coming in to fight for you. See, why do we have some? What about children? They're secretly snooping around and asking friends about you. What about what does children have to do? Why they're fighting for you? It could be you could have children with this person, or they see some type of potential. I saw that they wanted to build something with you, or they want to work on something with you. So it could have something to do with children. They 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 want to have a child with you. They want you to like. They want like they want like to they want a stepmom for their kids. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, investigating, they're watching. They're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. Yeah, they are unable to see the complete extent of their toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all they know. Choices. There, there is a choice they have to make. They know that time is not on their side they, and risk losing you forever if they don't. What is this decision surrounding? Mm, um, what what are they what are they tempted to make a decision? What is what is the choice about? Something to do with I don't know. I feel like this person knows that they need to heal and that they need to get their shit together before they come towards you. But this person feels like if they don't, they have to do something because they feel like you're getting away from them. So it's like the choice between just like choosing the path of healing and work on them working on themselves and then just hoping one day there will maybe be an opportunity for the two of you, two of you to be together. Or, and that could maybe, maybe mean risking losing you or choosing you and just figuring it out. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's like this person's emotionally unavailable. Yeah, they feel like you're moving on. They're plotting. They're strategizing. Mm, for some of you, they were. What is that player card? Passion ignited and innocence. Yeah, I feel like this person does feel like they know that, yeah, they did make some bad decisions. They could have chose somebody over you at some point. I feel like they chose being a player over you, I'm telling you, or something like they chose other options. Hmm. Um. Why is this person in regret? Or why are they, they know that they did you dirty in what way?
they this person knows that they should have taken some type of action towards you a long time ago or they should have done something they procrastinated they were they know that they didn't put effort into this or they they were reluctant to put effort into this mm -hmm. they were guarded why are they feeling regretful yeah they feel like they were careless with somebody that was a part of their soul family well, they acted like, yeah, whatever attitude. I told you, they keep coming in with this nonchalant, acting like they don't care. Yeah, not playing their cards right, negligence, inattentiveness. Yeah, whatever attitude. Yep. They regret that. Yeah, they, they had distractions around them. Mm -hmm. They know they need to clean up their life. Give me one more card. Something about the people that they have around them or what? What about the social circle and why they have regrets? They need to heal from some type of old emotional. They need to leave their comfort zone or something that the people that, what does that do with why they regret what they regret doing to my collective? Let go of the old, honor the cycle. You're, yeah, they, they've been holding on to people that are not good for them. They, they, they've been refusing to close out cycles that they need to close out to make room for like their soul family to come in for divine union. I don't know, but they know that they maybe chose the wrong people over you. They acted like they didn't treat you with the emphasis that they should have treated you with. Yeah.